Hey, Matthew, great news for Dubbo that these uh, flights to Ballina have resumed. Yeah, they were pretty popular when they were running previously. They ran from August 2020 through to April this year. But obviously, the airline industry was doing it very tough. And the fact that they kept running through the pandemic was fantastic. But again, it got to the point where they couldn't run that service viably. But they've gotten to the point now where they've decided they can run that again. So from the 6th of September, you'll see flights between Dubbo and Ballina return, which is very exciting. Do you think uh, people are going to make the most of this and take uh, weekends to the beach? Well, they are set up so that people can do that, have a long weekend, and they're starting slowly. The airline has got two return flights per week, and they're set up to go Thursday to Sunday. So you could have a nice long weekend on the beach. And we actually found what was interesting the last time they were flying is that we found a lot of people wanted to come and visit our area as well. And we've got some great things to see in our particular area. But we actually found that on average, people were staying for eight days. So rather than coming over and just staying for a short couple of days or maybe a weekend, they'd come over and have an extended stay in Dubbo. So it's good for our economy as well. We found that the 5,000 passengers that used it over the last time injected about $3.8 million into our economy. Obviously, people from Dubbo like the idea of going to Ballina, but people from Ballina love the idea of coming to Dubbo. So it works well for both communities. Fantastic. Now, where else does Air Pelican go? Are there opportunities to expand this service and maybe uh, run services to another? really, you know, good town? Uh, yeah, Fly Pelican is the one that's actually using or doing this particular flight, and Fly Pelican have got a number of other sites. I'm not sure if they're considering any of the other routes at this particular stage. Uh, at this stage, we're just excited and happy to have them back flying to Ballina, and we'll continue discussions, as we do with many airlines, to see what other opportunities there are there. And one of the things that Council has had in place for many years is the idea that we will give free landing fees or free passenger fees to any airline that opened up a new route for the first 12 months. Now, Fly Pelican has been going for more than 12 months to this particular route, so they're not taking advantage of that. They've already had that, if you like. But it's always that offer there for any new sites, any new locations that people or organisations want to consider, then the offer is there from Council to try and encourage some of those services and give that airline time to get up to speed. Having said that, even though they are paying normal passenger fees and normal security fees for these particular flights, the fees are quite reasonable, $179 for each way or one-way trips to Ballina or back. That sounds like a pretty reasonable fare compared to driving, which would be a fairly expensive process and very time-consuming.